was 17, with the money I'd made doing theater, I purchased for $800 a 1986 Candy Apple Red Hyundai Excel with a lot of miles on it. The car was basically like a prophylactic on wheels. We called it the Studmobile because to ever get any action in that car, you had to have game like nobody's business. None of us had a car. So we could make fun of them all we wanted to, but the fact was, we needed that car. It had its own anti-theft device, which was that in order to start it, you had to pump the gas vigorously and do that at least three times in order for the car to start. When I, when I would turn corners in that car, I'd put my foot on the clutch, and if I didn't rev the gas while rounding a corner, the car would stall. The car died a slow death. It started having a, like a kind of, sound from in the engine. And then at one point, it got really loud. It just went And every dial in the car went <laughs> And I just coasted as long as I could. And I went to go turn the key. And I'll never forget, there is nothing. Not a click, not a not a, nothing. Just like I knew the car was done. I do recall him laughing about the Yugo dying. The Hyundai, whatever. It was a necessary death. We called the junkyard to try and sell it for scrap. And the guy came to the house and I said, well, you know, I, I think I could probably get, you know, a hundred bucks for it. And the guy looked at my dad and said, how about I take it off your hands for free? He said, deal. <laughs> when I was 17, I got my very first movie. Uh, it's called Angus. And I've been auditioning for films for like the previous three, four years. And this happened to be the one movie that I got. It was a huge deal for James to land this film. I mean, it basically started his entire career. I played the jock bully. This is important, you understand? <laughs> Which is kind of hysterical because I based it on kids who bullied me when I was younger. I'm sorry, James is the bad guy. He was the bully. <laughs> and so I went to Los Angeles. Where I stayed in the Oakwood Apartments on Barham Boulevard. And I lost something at the Oakwood Apartments on Barham Boulevard. <laughs> something I can never get back. After I did that movie when I was 17, I remember being on the train coming back from New York, and all the kids who I'd based that character on were actually on the train, and they all kissed my ass, because I'd been in a movie. They had no idea that I'd based this character on them. I remember just sitting there thinking, sweet.